yard haunt update. So today we added one new thing that I got in the mail before I left for the pro haunt tonight. Other than that, me and my youngest daughter just had some fun playing with all the Halloween stuff today. And uh, we were in the garage messing around with stuff. I was trying to straighten stuff up. She was playing with all the animatronics and all the new Halloween stuff that's in there. Um, but I just want to say that these pumpkin puck lights are still going strong. They turn on every single night. Um, and they stay on. And they turn off in the morning. It's awesome. These things are great. And they're lasting way longer than the normal Home Depot batteries. So, um... I'm definitely going to invest in some more of those. Um, I have enough to light up the pumpkins that I do have here. Uh, so probably this week or tomorrow, I will probably go ahead and swap over all the ones that I have out here. Get everything switched over. Um, and then next year, I will permanently get these things uh, like fully swapped. For now, I just have everything pulled out and uh, set in there. I did do some more candles. I ordered more candles. Obviously, I was at the Pro Haunt. I just got home, so none of the candles are on. You have to grab a remote and physically point the remote at each individual candle. And my wife has no idea where the remote is or where all the candles are to turn them on. So, tomorrow they will be on for the update and uh there should be some new candles i ordered a bunch of different candles this week so they should be here by now Our caretaker let's see if he goes here there he goes he's having some trouble We still have this groundbreaker here and obviously our pumpkin pucks inside of these jack-lanterns and they look awesome I did buy a new jack-lantern that looks like this uh, similar to that and I bought a bunch of different ones from Lowe's because they were half off um, I have this green LED spotlight or not LED um, solar light and it's just not working good there's also a pin spot on this thing it's dead um, I just, I hate how I have my wiring this year for my lights. It's just not working out. And there's not a random light here that I can use to kind of light this guy up. He's just kind of here in the darkness. Um, over here, we don't have much going on yet. Um, I do want to get some kind of light or something on this guy to light him up or just put him somewhere else. Uh, I think he would be better suited like over here on this tombstone or just a different type of spotlight on him, like a white light or something. Like if I could share some of this white light with him, that would be great. But I can't. If I were to use a different light here and shine it down, it would give this whole thing a different effect, and I don't want that either. Um, but it is what it is. We're coming into the last week. I'm not going to do some crazy drastic changes now. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to add a few new things out here and uh, change up a few things. Nothing crazy. Um, but I'm going to be putting new batteries in these lanterns here. Um, I'm going to do that because that will be the final week. They'll last all the rest of this week. Um, so we should be good there. And then we have our werewolf. I'm going to be putting the brand new Leatherface where that bag head character is. I'm going to move him over by Jason and then put Leatherface between the skelly there. So we'll have that sitting there. Over here, our new addition today is that jack-o'-lantern all the way in the back. We got that from Lowe's for like eight bucks online. 
Um, it showed up today, so I ran out here before I went to the haunt and put it in. I think it looks good. I'm loving the random jack-o'-lanterns out here. Um, and that other one back there in the back, it was from Goodwill. I think that was like $2. I found it at Goodwill last, last year. I think it was last year. Um, so that was a solid little find. And then our pumpkin puck light in that big jack-o'-lantern is doing awesome. And, uh, you know, we just got some of these little carvable pumpkins sitting here. And our crouching grave digger. And then we have just all of our other tombstones. We got the headless horseman on the horse back there. And our skeleton sacrifice. Got the 12-foot skelly on tonight. And his eyes are on. We got Twisted Tina up there on the roof. And we have this creepy old grave digger here. His hat is uh looks like it's about to blow off the other one his hat keeps blowing off so i just took it off over here we have our guard zombie and our other big jack-o-lantern here got him lit up and our solar lights didn't get any sun because, well, it's been gloomy and rainy all day. Um, so I'm actually shocked this big solar light actually got anything. But other than that, um, at least all the power is turned on today and everything is working. But here is a view from across the street. Everything is looking pretty cool. Like I said, this week we'll get out here. And we're going to add a few characters. Uh, most of them are going to be sitting in the dark. I'm not going to add new lights to light them up. Um, so for Trick or Treat, I will just have my random characters sitting here. And Trick or Treat will be this weekend. So, um, well, this coming weekend. Um, today is Saturday. What is this? The 21st. Um, and we're coming into the, the final week for me. Um, some of this will start coming down after that and because Halloween's on what Tuesday, I think. So, I mean, after the 29th here, nothing really happens. Um, Halloween's, you know, obviously Halloween's still a thing and, you know, but around here, um, our trick or treat is from like four to five fifteen on the 29th. So after that, pretty much nothing happens around here. So I'm going to start tearing some of these guys down and putting them back in their boxes and starting that long, grueling-ass process. It's just terrible. Um, I really hate putting all this stuff away because, I mean, Jesus Christ, I bought one, two, three, four, five. There's five, six. There's six new ones sitting out here right now that I bought this year on top of the other leather face that's sitting in there and the you know the distortions pieces that i got sitting in there there's all the other old animatronics sitting in there but yeah there's six brand new ones that i added to the collection this year plus all these massive tombstones which you got to find a place to put those um we bought a bunch of those guys so yeah we got it's going to be quite the ordeal to get all this packed away this year but that is going to do it for today's update guys uh i appreciate all of you for watching and sticking with me stay tuned because <laughs> we're not done yet i got a bunch of stuff to bring out here yet and this year's haunt video is going to be pretty awesome i still got to figure out audio I haven't quite figured out what I want to do yet for audio, but it is going to be cool nonetheless. We're going to figure that out. We'll have something booming out here. We'll have some pretty loud, obnoxious audio going, and uh, I think it's going to be really cool. I just want to keep it something creepy and eerie uh, just because we are doing cemetery theme here, graveyard. So I just want to keep it eerie, spooky kind of um, just some weird vibe to it you know so nothing nothing too crazy and over the top but just want to keep it creepy because um my, my haunt is during the day so that's what sucks and then you know at nighttime 
it's it's pretty much all over with no one comes by few people stick around till dark to see what it looks like with the lights on and a few of you watch me on youtube that come and they come here and check it out so they'll come back by in the nighttime and uh, see it for themselves in person so uh, i appreciate that and all the comments of all you know acknowledging the hard work that goes into something like this so i appreciate all of you guys thank you all for watching and i will see you tomorrow